Hi everybody, this is Holly Ann Casper, the Radical Imperfectionist, and today I wanted to talk about activities that maybe once filled us with joy and filled our cups that we allow perfectionism to steal the joy from. And one of those things for me has been running. So running for me started out as this incredibly freeing experience where I would just have put on shoes and my feet would hit the pavement and I would run as far as I wanted as long as I wanted and I would stop for water and stretching and I would sometimes cry and I would laugh and I would connect with God and I would meditate and it was so awesome for me. It was one of the most filling things for me until perfectionism started to creep in as I started to focus on um, the goal of how far I would run or how long I would run for and um, how often I would run and it started to become this thing that I was measuring my value against if I was doing enough and it started to kind of deteriorate with my identity a little bit and to a point where I would just go on a treadmill. I didn't even enjoy running anymore. It was to check this box. I would, I would run because I was a runner, but I didn't enjoy it anymore. And I didn't realize at the time that it was perfectionism stealing the joy from this activity. And I just did this run in Huntington Beach, the 10K, and it was so freeing for me as I was noticing that these other people are passing me and we're all connected in this experience. And I used to be so focused on the end result, so focused on the finish line, that every step that I took was almost annoying. It was in the way, I just needed to get to the end. And there's always another finish line. So when we're always focused on the finish line, we don't get to enjoy the actual experience. It steals the joy. And that's what perfectionism does. It causes you to be so focused on and often judging yourself on how you're gonna do against some measurements that are arbitrary at the end that haven't happened yet, all while right now you're experiencing what should be bringing you joy. Um, so I wanna ask you, what are some things that used to bring you joy, that perfectionism sort of stole, took out from under you. And I wanna ask you to try to reclaim those things. What would you like to reclaim that used to fill your cup incredibly and maybe you didn't realize that perfectionism stole it or maybe you're not so sure it did. But I would love if you dialogue with me here and just share with me your experiences here. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Holly Ann Casper, thank you.